Daytona Beach, Florida is home tanks for Hot Rods Muscle Car and Collector Car Showroom, where we own all of our vehicles. We are not a consignment dealership. If you're watching today's presentation on YouTube, please be sure to check out our website, which is hangsters.com. It's where you can find all of our most current inventory. Our YouTube videos, we never take down, and we use the same channel for both locations, our PA store and our Daytona store. So it doesn't matter whether the video was shot three days ago or three years ago, it remains up for our thousands of subscribers to watch our content. However, when a vehicle is funded in full, that unit comes down off of our website, letting you know it's no longer available for sale. Are you interested in uh, Vintage Air, Dakota Digital Dash, front disc brake conversions? We now have Hangster's Garage, a new addition to our family here in Daytona, hangstersgarage.com. We will be selling and installing automotive parts and accessories for classic muscle cars, trucks, Jeeps, uh, all kinds of cool stuff. So if you're watching one of our video presentations, you want a different set of wheels or a different set of tires or you want AC, uh, we can certainly quote that out for you. Hankstersgarage.com, 2385 South Ridgewood in South Daytona Beach. Check it out. Novas, uh, Chevy Nova 2, we do real well with these cars. Um, this one happens to be a pretty, pretty cool little ride, so let's check it out. Uh, 283, under the hood. Uh, it does have a cowl tag up there in the cowl area. We will take a picture of that and it will be on the website. Uh, power brakes, no power steering, and no AC. Let's close the hood and take a look at the vehicle. Uh, aqua in color, uh, real, real nice paint on the car. Um, tops of the fenders, the hood, top of the uh, driver and passenger side fenders, both in pretty good shape. Uh, there's no clear coat fade, there are no fish eyes, there are no uh, blistering, cracking, any kind of poor surface prep. Uh, there is a tiny little, very faint scratch there in the hood. Um, so that is there, but other than that, there's no uh, paint imperfections in the hood or the tops of the fenders. <clears throat> Taking a look at our front grill area, you have the Chevrolet badging there, of course, across the front of the uh, hood, your uh, bow tie emblem at the top or in the center of the uh, hood molding. Uh, grill looks to be in good shape. Uh, around your front headlight bezels, you can see that there is some age to them. Uh, you can just tell they're not brand new, so take a good look in the videos and take a good look in our still photos. Uh, front bumper's in good shape, uh, no rusting, pitting, flaking of the chrome, no rust around the uh, bumper bolts, so that it looks like a newer front bumper. Take a look at the uh, driver's side front fender. Uh, first of all, you have a cool uh, pinstripe there, red and blue, accents the car nicely. Uh, the paint on the car, uh, on the front fender, is in nice shape. Uh, look real closely around the wheel well. Look at the uh, lower section of the front fender there on the driver's side where you can see uh, the uh, rocker molding meet the bottom of the fender. No blistering or cracking down there. American racing wheels look to be in good shape. Raised le uh, white letter BFG radials on the car. Let's take a look at the uh, front windshield. I don't see anything cracked, chipped, split. Looks to be in good shape. Your chrome around the front windshield is in nice condition. Cowl area looks to be in good shape. Uh, driver door fitment. Uh, real, real nice body lines. Uh, driver door uh, gaps are uniform to the front fender, to the rear quarter. Uh, driver's door closes flush there down at the uh, lower rocker. Again, you have that aluminum lower rocker molding on the car on the driver's side. It's going to be the same on the passenger. Uh, drip rail moldings look good on the car. Uh, there are some very, very, very faint dents in it, but overall the, uh, the chrome on the uh, drip rail molding looks to be in pretty good shape. Around the quarter glass and around the uh, driver window is all painted, so that, that looks to be in good shape as well. Going to have dual uh, chrome mirrors, one on the driver door and one on the passenger door. Take a look inside the car. We'll start first with the uh, interior door trim, uh, blue in color. Uh, the uh, top here, paint, pretty good shape. Uh, this is vinyl door here, uh, armrest and paint at the bottom. Looks to be overall in pretty good shape. Uh, leather interior in the car. Uh, put the uh, seat forward. I uh, can see leather in the back with rear seat belts. Uh, brand new Nova floor mats. Uh, carpeting underneath the floor mats in good shape. 
Uh, headliners, same color as the car. Uh, no, no rips, no tears there that I can see. Looks to be uh, newer. Uh, the seat itself um, slides back and forth and uh, front to back, you know, adjustable. Um, again, leather. It doesn't look like there's anything ripped or torn on the uh, driver's seat. Uh, the driver's side uh, front carpet there is in good shape. Got your uh, footprint for a gas pedal there. That's pretty cool. Uh, three pedal car. It's a four speed. So we will uh, run it through the gears when we take it on our test drive. Uh, dash looks to be in pretty good shape. Got a uh, radio there with a cassette player in it. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll check the radio on the test drive as well. Overall interior condition is pretty decent. We'll take a closer look at the interior as we always do when we are actually on the test drive. Uh, driver's door closes nicely. You can see that the, uh, the body lines on the car are nice. Uh, the rear quarter is nice and straight, driver door is nice and straight, and the uh, front fender on the uh, driver's side is nice and straight. Everything lines up just like it should. Uh, hopefully you can get a good shot of the car down the uh, driver's side and you can see there are no waves down the side of the car. Uh, body lines are nice and straight. Pin striping is in excellent condition. Clarity out of the rear window. Uh, real nice uh, glass clarity there and your uh, chrome molding around the uh, rear windows in real nice condition as well. Pioneer uh, little, looks like little, the Beats pill back there, two Beats pills. We'll check out that on the test drive, see if those work. Uh, deck lid fits nice to the rear quarters. Uh, your Chevrolet uh, little accent piece there that's on the deck lid looks to be overall in pretty good condition. Um, chrome on the rear bumper, both front and rear bumpers look to be new. Take a look in the trunk. Pretty simple, right? No trunk mat, no jack, no spare. Uh, that's pretty much what you get. Um, we didn't get a spare with the car, so we don't uh, we don't sell it with one. We don't take them out. I promise you. Uh, trunk seal around the trunk looks to be pretty good. Uh, the paint on the back of the deck lids in good good condition. Passenger side. Again, body lines are real nice on the car. Uh, take a good look here in the video while we're in a still. Uh, take a look down the uh, side of the car. You can see the uh, passenger side door lines up nicely to the front fender, to the rear quarter. Again, hopefully you don't, there's no ripples in the, uh, you know, any waves any, of any kind in the uh, rear quarters or driver's door indicating any kind of subpar workmanship in terms of body work. Again, the, you know, around your wheel opening moldings here where, you know, you might have blistering or cracking. That's not happening. Uh, low on the rear quarter here. See how nice that is. Again, the uh, uniform lines on the doors. Uh, passenger side is same as the driver. The body lines are nice. Take a look at the paint on top of the roof. You see up there, it's again, no blistering, no uh, clear coat fade. Uh, no, uh, you know, sometimes when especially in Florida, when you're painting the car, you know, the, the, the metal will sweat and then there's moisture underneath when you're painting and you'll get like these uh, bubbles in the paint and there's nothing. It's real nice paint on the car. Take a look in the passenger side. Again, uh, passenger side door is the same uh, color as the uh, driver in same quality. You know, the, uh, the, the paint on the car, the uh, door panel itself, so in pretty good condition. Same thing with your glove box area, radio area. You got some uh, attack and some aftermarket gauges mounted underneath the front dash. Uh, black carpeting in the car, four speed center shifter. Nice little ride. So uh, lastly, I guess we'll take a look at the passenger side front fender. Again, the uh, your, your problematic areas would be down here. You can see there's no blisters or cracks down low there. Around the wheel opening molding, there's nothing, you know, because there's, you know, sometimes you have chrome uh, around the wheel opening moldings. These just happen to be painted and they look good. It's a little, uh, see if the radio works. There's a little antenna there and mounted in the corner. Nineteen sixty four Chevy Nova two. Uh, here in Daytona Beach, available right now. I do encourage you guys to come to our Daytona Beach showroom to look at these classic cars in person. 
we are in the market, in the business of selling 30, 40, 50 year old cars. They are not perfect. They all have their flaws, deficiencies, tendencies, uh, you know, they're, they're old cars. So uh, we'd be happy to show you this uh, Chevy 2 or whatever other vehicle you might be interested in in our showroom. We'll pull it outside for you. You can take a real good look at the paint in the sunshine. We'll put it on the rack for you. You can check out the undercarriage, the bottom of the motor, the bottom of the transmission, the floor pans, the tire condition. We'll let you drive it. You can see how the car handles, how it steers, how it stops, how the, uh, the, the motor accelerates, how the transmission shifts, all that stuff. All the stuff we do in this video, you can do in person. This way you're not just taking my word for it when the car shows up wherever you might be in the United States or in the world for that matter. Um, there's no surprises because you were here and you looked at it in person and you drove it and you spent as much time that you felt was necessary to uh, make your purchase decision. We do a lot of sight unseen business. I shoot a lot of these videos. I've been doing it for a number of years and I pretty much say the same thing in every single video continuously people uh, wire us money for, for vehicle sight unseen. We make a lot of people happy. I get a lot of email compliments. I get a lot of phone calls. Hey Rich, thanks for this, thanks for that. Uh, you know, but at the end of the day, again, especially if this is your first classic car purchase, please come look at it in person. Um, this way we'll, we'll explain to you uh, what it's all about to own and, and, and drive and, and maintain a classic car. And again, you can uh, put your hands on your purchase yourself. Uh, all of us work hard for our money and you definitely need to be comfortable with what you're spending it on. Plus, Daytona Beach is a cool place to visit. There's a lot of uh, restaurants on the water. There's the beach, there's the speedway, there's lots of shopping, there's a lot of rental places. If you want to rent a slingshot or some jet skis or some scooters, you know, and uh, toot around Daytona Beach or explore Daytona Beach, you can do that for a couple days. Let's take this Nova outside. We'll throw it in the uh, air, put it on the rack, throw it in the air, check out the undercarriage, and we'll do a short little test drive on the car. Underneath our 1964 Chevy Nova, disc brakes up front. See the bottom, I know it's black, but you can see the bottom of the 283. Hopefully you guys can see that there's, look at the side of the block, how there's no oil coming down off the valve covers. Look at the uh, oil pan bolts. Same thing with the uh, passenger side. You got the starter in the way as you get further back, but side of the block, oil pan, headers, both sides, driver and passenger. Uh, frame rails look to be in good shape. Uh, cross member supporting up the tranny. Flywheel is covered. Uh, floor pans look to be pretty good. Drivers, passengers. Looks like there's one solid uniform piece all the way back. I don't see anything silicone or sectioned in. Uh, the leaf springs in the rear look to be in good shape. Uh, does have uh, straight pipes and then looks like a set of cherry bombs here on the uh, uh, exhaust system versus mufflers. Uh, drum brakes in the rear. Rear end looks good. I don't see anything leaking there. The uh, rear of the car where your uh, rear end support's gonna sit when the vehicle's on the ground looks to be in good shape. Uh, the rear quarters look good. I don't see any uh, Bondo up there. Uh, tread depth, I got uh, about halfway on your tires. Uh, so there's your wear bars there. Um, BFGs, a little, you know, they're above the wear bars. So probably about halfway uh, through tire life. Uh, same thing here on the uh, passenger side. Um, <laughs> same thing on the driver's side as on the passenger side. Uh, looks pretty good on the drop downs here. Uh, you know, not ex excessively packed with Bondo or anything like that. I think that's about it. 1964 Chevy Nova. Again, um, you know, I'm underneath these cars. I'm showing you guys the bottom of the oil pan, the transmission, the floor pans. Uh, but you can do all this yourself when you visit us in person. Keep in mind, um, old cars, they're going to leak oil, they're going to leak transmission fluid, they're going to leak power steering fluid. It, it, is, it is normal, um, you know, to get a couple drops here and there, especially for those of you up north where the vehicle's in storage for an extended period of time. But uh, it just is what it is. Now, if you have a 10-inch diameter of oil out in your garage, you have a problem. 
but if you have a couple drops here and there from uh, valve covers, oil pan, it's not out of the realm of normalcy when you're, when you're dealing with these classic cars, especially if they sit. Let's talk payment options. First of all, cash. Uh, if you want to bring us cash in person, we do have people do that from time to time still. But more commonly, it's either cashier's check or bank wire transfer. Bank wire transfer is usually the most uh, popular form of payment simply because the funds are there the same day and we can start preparing your car for shipment that much sooner. If you are financing, the collector car lenders we work with will do a five to 10 year loan on our classic cars. Uh, the approval is going to be based on the amount of the car, your credit score, you know, like for example, they won't do a 10 year loan on a $20,000 car. Uh, it's got to be 50 grand or more, but uh, typical approval falls in that five to eight year uh, category. 10% down is going to be your minimum. So if it's a $30,000 car, you're putting down three grand. Uh, you'll put down more if you'd like to, but they're going to require a minimum of 10%. And then the remaining balance over that uh, five to 10 year period, whatever it is you get approved for. If you get approved for an eight year loan, you pay it off in two, there's no prepayment penalty, which makes it nice. If you want to pay off this car because maybe you, you came across an inheritance, won a lottery, cashed on some 401k, whatever the case may be, or maybe you're selling it. Uh, you aren't going to get penalized for paying it off early. Um, I think that's it. Oh, once the car is funded in full, we put the vehicle through a pre-delivery inspection process. The uh, lug nuts get torqued, air pressure gets checked, AC gets checked if equipped. You know, we check for leaks one last time, make sure you got uh, brake lights, tail lights, reverse lights, uh, e-brake, you know, all that fun stuff. Once the car is through inspection, uh, the guys tell me it's good to go, we call a carrier for pickup. Typically, we can have a truck here within 48 hours. It might be a little while longer if you're in a more rural or remote destination, three, four, five days. However, I promise you, I know you're excited to get your car. We are excited to sell it to you. We will get your vehicle as soon as we possibly can. We work quickly on the whole transactions a lot faster than you actually think it might be. Let's set this 64 Nova down on the ground. We'll take it on a test drive and show you guys how it runs out. Inside our Chevy 2, horn. Wipers. Uh, fuel gauge works. 98,564 is the mileage on the odometer. True mileage unknown, title exempt, exceeds the mechanical limits, however you want to classify it. Turn signals. Driver. Passenger. Radio. And cheap trick, there are still tickets available. What do we got in the tape back here? Jethro Tall War Child. I'll even throw that in it. No additional charge. Uh, we'll check temp when it comes up because we uh, just started the car. 14 volts, oil pressure. Looks like we're getting about 50, 55 pounds. Tax working. Dash pad's in pretty decent condition. All around your uh, radio, glove compartment area is in nice shape. You can see the carpeting looks to be newer. Floor mats are brand new. Pretty cool little car. Let's take it on a little test drive. It's a popular color here in Florida. Let's see how this Chevy 2 runs out. Hopefully we'll get some thumbs up and some honks. Let's drive it. We got ourselves a torquey little 283 here. It's a nice car. Tracks perfectly straight. Response in the steering is fantastic. Car accelerates nicely. Showed you in the undercarriage presentation that has those cherry bombs on it, so it does have a little bit of a sound to it when you step on the throttle. I don't know if you'll be able to hear it here in the uh, test drive video or not. Uh, I've had cars that the, the exhaust is just ear piercing, and this one's not. It, it, it has a cool sound to it. You may or may not like it, but. Uh, speedometer's functioning, it's accurate, the needle's not bouncing around, our temp's coming up. We should be between like 160 and 180 uh, in this car by the time the drive's done. It's hot here in Florida, remember, keep that in mind. I love the response of the throttle. Uh, the response is immediate, this is a nice little torquey motor. I like the uh, shifter too, it's a nice short shift pattern. You can find the keyway easily.
70. 70 and forth coming down. No pull, no vibration in the engine, in the tires, in the transmission, steering wheel. Look at your shifter. It's nice and tight. Right here, I told you 160 on the temp. You're probably gonna hang tight there, maybe 165, 170 the most. Nice little car. Nice tight steering, nice smooth ride. Uh, the smaller cars, you know, you get that tightness, you know, when you're in a, a big huge Impala or a, uh, you know, Roadrunner or something like that. You know, it's a little bit of a, a boatier car, but uh, this is nice and tight. Uh, real nice, smooth uh, riding little car. Like I said, you uh, you step on the, the gas and that 283 moves this Chevy 2 quite nicely, actually. It's a nice, cool little car. Radio works, wipers work, horn works. Car stops just like it should. So here we are at idle. See your RPM, We're not bouncing around. It's holding nice and steady. We have a uh, good idle. We're not stalling out, spitting, sputtering. I told you temps 165. Batteries charging, oil pressure. Nice little Chevy too. I think we'll sell this one quickly. 386. 944-9219 is our contact phone number here in Daytona Beach. Hanksters.com is our website. Today we're going to put all the photos of this car up on our website along with this video presentation you are watching right now. At full retail price, this cool little Chevy 2 includes shipping in the lower 48 United States on an enclosed carrier. It also includes a powertrain warranty. That warranty is good on engine, transmission, and rear end. If the oil pan starts leaking, if the valve covers start leaking, if your uh, battery goes and you need to buy a new battery, that one's from July of 21, by the way, so it's just a year old, um, that's going to be on you, all that stuff. Uh, the warranty covers only major mechanical breakdowns, interior, internal <laughs> components of the engine, the transmission, and the rear end. Is the price of the car negotiable? Most certainly is. However, if we negotiate the price of the car, that warranty I just spoke of comes off. Warranty is good at full retail price only. Also, shipping comes off. Our full retail price uh, is a turnkey program where you get the uh, security of the warranty and you get the luxury of having all the shipping accommodations taken care of for you. We call the driver, we pay the driver, we track the shipment, all that fun stuff. At a negotiated price, we will hand you off to a broker whose job is strictly shipping cars. We are not in the car shipment business, we are in the car sales business. We simply provide shipping as a luxury to our customers at full retail price. The price of the car is, like I said, negotiable, but those two items are uh, at full retail price only. Also, if you are a collector, maybe you have your own opener enclosed trailer, you'd like to come trailer this uh, Chevy 2 home, you can do that as well. And of course, if you are local to us here in the Sunshine State, and you want to come drive this Chevy 2 home, you can do that as well. Hankster's Hot Rods is located in Central Florida, Daytona Beach, and our website is hanksters.com. We would love to earn your business, add you to our growing customer base throughout the entire United States and throughout the world. Yes, we also export these vehicles and can handle that whole process from start to finish for you as well if you are watching us from afar. Hankster's Hot Rods, Daytona Beach, Florida. Check us out.